Hello, welcome and or welcome back to my channel, you guys, the Tarot Magician Renee here. Today I'm very excited about this video because I am doing a flip through and first impressions review of the Dragon Tarot. Um, this was gifted to me by my beautiful moderator, Jean, and of course she has gifted me plenty of other decks as well, but I really, really wanted to take a look at this one first because I was so excited about this one. Um, as you guys know, I do work with the dragons, and um, this is my first dragon tarot, so I'm really excited to um, dive into this deck with you guys, alright? So, let's take a look. The dragon tarot by us game systems i love the cover it looks like so much fun of course it's just a regular tuck box so i am going to need to make a special a special bag for this one um we have the ace of wands here on the back looks very very promising so all right let's open let's open it up okay i'm gonna go ahead and put the box to the side so here we do have the white booklet. Okay, so it just comes with a plain old little white booklet. I don't know how to pronounce the creator's last name, so I'll let you guys just take a look at here at the screenshot of it. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. So let's see what this little white booklet comes with. It doesn't look very in-depth. It just looks like it has regular meanings. Uh, divinatory meanings as well as reversed meanings too is what it looks like so just a regular regular booklet I never really look at these books if you guys want me to be completely honest so the backs let's look at the backs real quick I love the backs because they have four dragons on each side they are reversible which I do love. They do have borders, so I don't know, maybe I'm going to have to take a chance at modding this one here because uh, I just, you guys know I'm a borderless type of person, so. <laughs> All right, I am going to do just a quick walkthrough, flip through of this deck, and then um, I'll come back with some of my thoughts. All right, guys, so let's get into it.
As you can see, I kind of separated the ones that I really want to talk about because these are the ones that stuck out to me the most, which was this pile here. So we'll put this pile to the side and I'll give my thoughts of what I liked about these cards here. Because like I said, these cards are what stuck out to me the most. So I absolutely love this magician because there is so much going on in this card. I love how there's all the suits involved and I just love that the dragon looks like he's working. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. So I really, really love that. This high priestess I think is one of my favorites out of the entire deck just because I love how everything was put together. Like I love how there's a scroll in the dragon's hand, the moon is above, there's even a peace sign. Um, I don't know what this is, a bubble, a world? I don't know, I don't know what that is. But I love even the rainbow here going into this big old cauldron. I love this High Priestess. And like I said, I think it is one of my favorites out of the entire deck. So yay for the High Priestess. The Empress, I thought this was the cutest thing because of the little baby dragon. That's really why I loved this Empress because of that. And then like, look at the little egg that it hatched out of. It is just the cutest thing. And I really love this Empress. The lovers, I just thought this was so beautiful because of, you know, how they're, you know, together. There's a pink dragon, there's a purple dragon. I love the, I just, I loved this lovers. And I love how there's um, elements of the peace symbol too on these as well. And I believe there's um, the zodiac sign that is with each card also. And then just like a little symbol. And I love this heart. It is so cute. <laughs> Strength. Look at this strength. I love how they added the, the lion. I really, really love that. <laughs> the hermit. I mean, I think I love the hermit in every, in every deck, to be honest. It just, a hermit is one of my favorite cards as well, and I just, I love this one. Justice. Look at that justice. Look how tough how tough that dragon looks it's like don't mess with me and they love how they he has something in each on each side like a feather and a sun is what it looks like and it just it balances each other out and i love that the hanged dragon i mean come on come on <laughs> look at this death I freaking love the skeleton dragon. I think that was genius and I love how they added that. The tower, love how the dragon is wrapped around the tower, causing it to crumble. Love that. The sun, how beautiful is the sun? There's a peace sign again. I just love it. There's a face in the sun with the dragon surrounding it. It's just beautiful, very, very gorgeous the world. I love how the dragon is wrapped around the world. I love that. Beautiful. Knight of Coins. Okay, so in the um, Minor Arcanas, as you can tell, they were really pippish. They just added the element of the dragon in them, which I really love because I really prefer that they added the dragon rather than just kept it pippish throughout the entire like deck. So I just loved how this Knight of Coins like was holding the... Um, was holding the the staff, I guess it's called, right? I don't know what it's called technically, but I just love how he's holding it. <laughs> Ace of Swords, I thought this was just gorgeous, how he's wrapped around the sword and then there's a rainbow, there's all these bubbles. I just thought it was beautiful. Oh, I love Three of Swords. I generally really love the Three of Swords also in each deck too. I love how it's like the bleeding heart. Very, very intense. I always think the more intense the Three of Swords is, the better. Ace of Wands, I just love everything that's going on. Love everything that's going on. I love how he's holding the wand there. Looks like he's working on manifesting something. I, I love that. I also love how they incorporated the colors of each suit too. So as you can tell with like the coin, the swords, it was like blue, purple. Um, wands is that orange and that red color. So I love how they added that too with each, um, each element. Six of Wands. I love how they added the V. I'm assuming standing for victory. I love how they added that. 
Knights of Wands. Again, I just love the fact that he's holding the, the whatever it's called, the staff. I don't know what it's called. He's, I love the fact that he's holding it. <laughs> Look at this page of cups. I don't think this was in every page unless this was the one that I noticed, but I want to say this was the only page of cups where the dragon was hatching and I adore that. I adore that so much. And again, Knight of Cups. I just loved all the Knight of Cups. I loved all the knights, I guess you could say. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I, I really enjoy this deck and I look forward to working with it just a tad bit more. I love the size of this deck too. I mean, the size is perfect because I have really small hands. So for me, the size of this deck is perfect. And like I said, I may think about trimming this deck also. Um, oh, I put these cards wrong. Did I not? Yes, I did. Okay. I may think about trimming this deck also, trimming the edges, because I think it would just make the artwork stand out a little bit more. Um, and you guys know I'm a, I'm a borderless person. So I think I'm going to go ahead and try to do that for this one. I'll keep you guys updated, okay? I'll keep you guys updated if I do or if I don't. But I highly, highly recommend this deck. I know it's, um, I mean, the Major Arcana, yes, is based off of RWS system, and I know that the, ma the Minor Arcana is more Pippish style. Um, so, you know, beginner deck, I'm not sure, but um, if you're really into dragons and if you really want a dragon tarot, I highly, highly recommend this deck, okay? It is just gorgeous. So that's my take on the Dragon Tarot. I hope you guys enjoyed this, okay? And um, the next walkthrough review I'm going to be doing is going to be of the Dragon Wisdom. And then after that, it's going to be Oracle the Dragon Fae. So like I said, keep an eye out for those. Thank you for joining me. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, and if you want me to do more walkthroughs, please let me know in the comment section below, okay? It'll really help to give me some kind of motivation, okay? Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. I love you all. Stay safe. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.